it's an open, open canvas for us. It's on adjacent to our 267 acre academic farm. This is 20 additional acres with two acres under, under roof. So now you're exiting this contained area oh, okay. and, and into the wow. commercial facility. This is the fun part. So the alfalfa field is part of the 20 acres. Oh, okay. um, oh. This is the land on which we'll put the um, new arena. It's going to give them exposure to not just production, but again, the um, engineering, the mechanics, the logistics, the marketing, supply chain management. And the service guy that needs to know how to help somebody else run this place. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Heating and air conditioning. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all kinds of management opportunities. So this is Cooling really an um, integrated facility that's going to allow us not just exposure for our students in agriculture, but exposure for our students in a number of different fields from biology and chemistry to uh, business. I'm Dale Mendio and joining me is Corey Cockrell. I'm gonna call her at least from right now, Madam President. Corey, where are we right now? Cause this isn't the normal backdrop we have for Wilmington College. It is not. I'd like to welcome you to the Wilmington College Agri-Science Complex. Most people have probably never heard that phrase, have they? No. No, I, I'm not even sure I've articulated it in public until just now. So it's it, remarkable. It is. Agri-Science Complex. Uh, currently, we're calling it the Wilmington College Agri-Science Complex, but there's a naming opportunity there. We're looking for partners and, and investments. Um, this is was a commercial greenhouse facility. And how many acres? It's two acres under roof. It's uh, butts right up against our academic farm, which is 267 acres. So now we're at 287 with the commercial greenhouse. It, fortunately, it's green. It's already green, which is one we can call yeah. color. It's painted green along the outside. Um, but yeah, it's a stunning, large facility. It fills a niche that we haven't filled with any of our other operations on the academic farm. Our students are going to be involved from day one, per usual, in kind of creating a vision and an evolution of what this becomes. But it really could become just about anything. We've talked several times at your judging contest about things that we'll talk about in the future and how long how far ago did this idea of the complex, maybe not this facility, but the complex, when did you start thinking about that and why? So it all started with the question, you know, we've run out of capacity for ag students, right? We have 300 ag students and we have to squeeze them into a lab that seats 24. That The math doesn't work so well. Um, and we have a commitment to this hands-on learning, you know, experiential education model so we knew we needed to expand our lab capacity. And we looked at different spaces on campus. We looked at spaces at the academic farm. None were going to be quite right or big enough to fit our students um, and serve the laboratory and classroom needs. So we contemplated the building of a new pavilion. We called it the Ag Pavilion. And it was really uh, a livestock arena with a professional space on the front that would allow for us to double our lab and classroom capacity. And classrooms all around the outside. I remember this conversation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we've been talking about this yes. for a couple of years. Um, I've, we've been fundraising and we've been able to ra raise about a, a 1.5 million uh, toward that facility. But um, when we were contemplating, how do we get shovels in the ground? You know, how do we get this building started? Um, we just didn't have enough space. We really couldn't find developed property um, on which we could build, you know, for example, a, a parking lot that could fit 100 buses at one time, which is what we bring in for the livestock judging contest. Which, by the way, is the largest judging contest for youth east of the Mississippi. Yep, it is. 1,600 plus students come to that. Yeah. What I love about that is they all move in silence, right? Like yes, a slow bit fish. Yeah. It's, so, yeah, it's an incredible thing to witness. Um, but, you know, we have to host that in Clark County off-site. So part of that, too, was bringing that back home so students could see what Wilmington College is to have, um, you know, a sense of, is this a, a good fit for me? It was a recruitment opportunity for us. It's still our number one recruitment event, and yet it's okay. a couple counties away, more than an hour away. So if we could bring it home, that was going to be a synthesis in our recruitment strategy that um, I think would, would pay off and, and help students see what Wilmington College really is about. So the hope is to so how did the pavilion morph into and how long and who all was involved? I mean, is this something that your group sits down, there's three of it, or do you have to convince 30 people on a board? This whole thing sounds like it came together remarkably fast, <laughs> given what the possibilities might be that you have to it go through. It did have to come together fast. I think it came kind of into our purview uh, in about August. Uh, it's now November, so it's been relatively quick. Um, 
it was really the appeal was that it was more than a livestock facility. It could be an integrated agri-science center. Truly, it's comprehensive. It had all the utilities, gas, electric, water, sewer. Um, it was already excavated. It's commercially zoned. It has access to David's Drive. Um, it really, it's adjacent to our academic farm. It expanded it by 20 acres. It just checked all the boxes. Yeah, you couldn't have drawn that up any better in a what-if scenario, and yeah. it, it happened, played it out was, for you. And it was vacant. So it had been vacant for over a year. I think there were some community concerns about, you know, it becoming a, an eyesore. So for us to be able to be involved in this renovation of an existing facility um, has real appeal for the community. And then I think about beyond that, how do we integrate um, its operations into the community, right? If we're able to grow produce to serve our, ac to for serve our academic campus, that's great. But what else could we serve? So from eyesore to ideal. Yeah. Now. How will the students play a role in trying to make this go forward? How much of an opportunity will they have, yeah. current ones, and how far into the future will they still be developing the impact on their own groups? Well, so this is day one that we've opened the doors. You've been here. We also had a student here as part of that process. So, you know, we like the tout built by students. It's literally on uh, an engraved rock on one of our dorms um, that was built by students. So we want to involve them from the start. That's why they're here. What can they help us envision? How do we scaffold this into a project that evolves over time? But truly, we have to address our capacity needs and get these students into labs and classrooms as soon as possible. Joining me is Morgan Evans. We're at Wilmington College. And you're what year, Morgan? I'm a senior, so on my way out, but enjoying every minute of it. Give us a quick flashback. When did you decide to come? What were the experiences like while you were here? So I started as a freshman in the fall of 2023. Um, looking at Wilmington versus some other schools in the area, I enjoyed their hands-on approach to everything, whether that be in the classroom, in the field, all the way down. Um, choosing Wilmington, I chose it because of the community. There was a strong value placed on the morals that come along with Wilmington. Um, so I started here in fall of 2023, like I mentioned earlier. I was integrated right away into the ag classes. We were hands-on from the very first minute. Uh, through my experiences, I've had a lot of connection with the ag professors and the faculty at Wilmington. This has led me to have a strong passion for agriculture that Wilmington just keeps on feeding. <laughs> so through these experiences, I've learned a lot about how agriculture is integrated into the industry and how I want to be integrated in the industry in the future. So when you think about all those things that you've experienced, are, are you a little saddened that you're going to be graduating when the new agri-science complex is really going to be put together, looking for student involvement on where it ought to go? Can you leave them any ideas as you head out? This might contribute to future students' education. What would you say? I am a little sad that I'm leaving during this development, but I am super thankful for the involvement that Wilmington has led for alumni and graduating seniors to have in this program. They're not only asking for faculty input, but also student input. We've been through the programs. We see how they work. They're asking for how we can make this work better for students. Um, so I'm a little sad that I won't get to be in person enjoying it, but I do look forward to the future and I'm happy for those students coming in. And as a proud member of Wilmington College, I'm super excited for those students to have those experiences and to come back in the future and be able to tour this place. And part of this uh, experience that I've had today, we talked to the president, Corey Cockrell. Do you know the, the president of Wilmington College personally? So that's what's kind of unique about Wilmington College is we have face-to-face -face meetings with Corey all the time. She stops in with our clubs and organizations. She's happy to meet you on campus. She is around all the time and has a friendly face. She knows you by name. We could not have a better interaction with Corey. Joining us at Wilmington College is the Ag Department Chair, Chad McKay. And Chad, we've had a couple guests talking to us about the new agri-science complex. As the Department Chair, does that have some extra responsibility that you've got to figure out what to do with this? How do we get hands on? How do we get student involved as much as we can? Where does all that fit in? Well, you hit the nail on the head. This is going to be a interdisciplinary approach between lots of different people. So I see this as more than just agriculture. This is going to be infused agriculture. Biology will be out here. Chemistry will be out here because 
it's just not a one size fits all program. So we wanna expose our students to as many things as we can. And this new facility is going to go and allow us to go and do that. We have seven academic concentrations within agriculture. We want to go and expand that. We wanna to expand to uh, ag systems management. We want to go and expand into meat science. This facility is untapped potential. And it's basically like a blank slate. We're going to be able to make it whatever we want. And we're looking forward to not only having administration input, faculty input, student input, alumni input, community input, because this is a community project. This is just not going to be a Wilmington College Agriculture Department project. But Chad, as you look at the big picture and everybody coming and going, is there an area that you know in your heart that you want to grow? I mean, Corey really worked on the communication side of things right. to grow, and, and she's always been actively involved with students in the classroom. What's in your list that's maybe way back in your mind? So I'm definitely not an expert in this area, so I want to go and surround myself with a team that is an expert in this area. But I think the Precision Ag area, it's already here. And it's only going to continue to expand. So that agriculture systems management area is something I really want to get up and going. We have community partners that allow our students access to all of the tools that they're going to use on their farm, that they're going to sell, that they're going to work with. So I think right now, if we can expand upon that, this facility can go and help us do that. That's something that I really see in our future, whether that be a two-year program, whether that be a four-year program, whether that be a self-designed combination program. Uh, again, sky's the limit. Opportunities are there. It's what you make it when you come to Wilmington College.